so as you can see here, we're now in the team inbox page. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I will use my phone to send hi to this number, Wati Demo. Once I say hi, um, actually from my side, as a, as a client, I'll receive the reply message, hi Crystal, and then I'll receive a menu here, and then here I'll receive a logo as well. So what you will see from your side if you're a Wati user, First of all, on the left-hand side, my chat will pop up with a notification. When I click in here, you will see that, hi from the client, and actually it is an auto message triggered by the bot, and then answer Crystal, this client, as you can see in the contact here as well. And you will see that um, the bot is answering it and with a logo as well. So let me do one more step here furthermore. When I click, let's say three for the pricing. When I input here, it will also have auto reply about the pricing as well. So I just randomly upload a document about uh, WhatsApp API. But uh, for you, you can uh, upload different document, for example, um, really the product menu, or if you're a restaurant, you, you can upload food menu, etc. So it's really up to you uh, what kind of document and answer that you set here to give your customer a really automated service. So let's come back to the team inbox page uh, to see more about from our side. Uh, if there are questions that, of course, like the, the bot cannot answer most uh, a lot of the questions that is uh, complicated or uh, personalized to the customer, so you can assign it to different users. So for example, if I want to answer it, I can assign it to myself. And as you can see here, you have all the record, whether the ticket is taken by whom and uh, being assigned by uh, which operator. So I can say hi. If you have some uh, type of answer that is always there, uh, which is uh, always repeated, you can also select from the safety reply and you can add it easily here as well. So you can send it as well directly. And apart from that, you'll be able to send um, documents or emoji to support your client. So everything will be more personalized as well. And for example, uh, if I'm answering it here, you will see who is answering the chat by what time. So everything will be trackable. And if I assign it, for example, to my colleague, Ken, you'll also be able to see all the change of the status or by um, different operators. Apart from that, uh, what we would like to show you here is the countdown clock here. For the, for the countdown here, it's actually the 24 hours window. And as you can see, it is um, 2357 here. If I am the I am the uh, client, I talk again to this account. This will refresh to uh, the 24 hours again. So as you can see, basically, uh, the 24 hours is count from your client's last message to you. Other than that, here is the status button that you can change different status. For example, if it's like pending, it is not resolved yet, or if it's soft, you can click this one to close the session. And after the session is closed, or if the chat is expired, then you can send them a template message to re-engage them. You can choose the template, and then customize the template and send it out. And let's get back to this one to show you a bit more about this. On the right hand side, you'll be able to see your customer names. So if it is not saved in your contact, it will be by default the WhatsApp name that your customer sets for their own. And the phone number here, below here you can set different parameters so you can add it here directly. For example, um, if it's VIP member, um, whether they have the debit card or let's say if I add um, city, 
Hong Kong. So you can also add different label to your customer as well. It will be directly so shown here. When you scroll down a bit more here, it is your shareable note uh, with your team. So if your clients have been asking something about the pricing or is a VIP member or have past history of complaining about a certain issue, then you don't have to scroll down all the way up and instead you can just add it in the note here so the next person who is handling this chat will be able to track it here. Other than that, on the left hand side, you can also sort the chat by different status and also by the label or parameters here. So for example, what I would do here to show you as an example, um, let's do a member VIP, so everyone with the uh, VIP label will be shown here. And then you can do a double sort out. For example, if um, I started my own chat, so you can only uh, select the favorite one. So I'll be the only one show here because I matched the, uh, the, the status of uh, being a favorite chat and also with the parameters of VIP member. So this is you know, um, for you to easily search your customer and also of course you can search it directly by the name, etc. Uh, if it's all clear here, I will go to the contact session to introduce you more about the, um, how you can save, import or export your contact.